Today we are drawing pictures on the board for episode 47 of Goalie Training Pro TV. Okay, so, you know, I've been working on the big article on FAI, impingement in hockey goalies, for a couple months now, uh, and it's finished. The draft is finished, um, but I wanted to just walk through what FAI is, what impingement is, what does it mean, what's actually going on in your body. So that's what we're covering today. So I've drawn these pictures on the board, um, and this is basically, so this is your femur, and then this is the head of your femur, which sort of is almost like a ball on the end. And this is the socket of your hip joint. So um, really, you know, if you visualize this, I tried to draw a circle here to show that that, that ball kind of goes into your hip joint like that. So, and your pelvis is the socket and the ball of your femurs fits in that socket. So that's what I'm trying to draw here. And the, that socket is called the acetabulum. Now I have another visual aid. This will make it easier. So this is this is your pelvis. Like so, you're st I'm standing facing you. This is my pelvis. So my femur and the ball fit in here. So that is the socket. That is the acetabulum. Uh, so it's the head of the femur and the acetabulum. That's what makes up your hip joint. I'll just put my pelvis right there. Uh, so when you get an impingement, there there are two well, kind of three types of impingement. The first is a cam impingement. So what happens is, for whatever reason, because of activity, because of just the way you're put together, not everybody you know, has a perfectly shaped ball and a perfectly shaped socket. Some of them are a little bit misshapen. And then to add on to that, you decide to be a hockey goalie and you're doing things like hip flexion, adduction, internal rotation, which is like a impingement position. It's a position they put you in if they want to test if you have impingement. And so if this part of the ball sort of rubs on the lip of the socket, it by nature and how our body adapts, it sort of gets builds up a bony callus and it builds up more of a bony callus and more of a bony callus over time. So it creates less space. It decreases your range of motion more and it gives you probably more discomfort over time. So this is called a cam impingement and it happens on the femur side, on the head of the femur. The other kind is called a pincer, pincer impingement. And it's when, you know, maybe this is a little bit, so maybe the socket, the rim of the socket is a little misshapen and it encroaches a little bit. So then again, the head of your femur butts into that. So it it's, makes a bony callus, a bony callus. And again, the result is the same, less range of motion, more pain, more dysfunction. So that is called a pincer impingement. And then you can kind of have like a little mixture of both of a, of a cam and a pincer. It doesn't super matter what kind it is, the result's the same. They, they're gonna, if it gets bad enough that you can't play because of the pain, they're gonna have to either, you know, tr go in there and trim this up, trim this up so that you're not smashing bone on bone. The other thing I want you to learn from this and take from this is that, well, what's that labrum? So you, a lot of times when surgeons go in or when goalies have a hip impingement, they also have a torn labrum. Well, the labrum is sort of a, uh, almost like a cartilaginous ring. So if I'm looking, if I'm looking at the socket like that, that's what I tried to draw up here. So we're looking right at the socket and there's this ring of like cartilage type material and that is the labrum. So it does a couple of things and it's just a ring around that uh, rim. It gives the joint a little bit more depth. It almost makes a little suction seal to make the joint more stable. And it provides a little bit of shock absorption, a little bit of a, of a bumper cushion there for you. But it can get torn, it can get pinched as well. So you can see how that could easily get pinched. And again, then you're gonna have like sort of grabbing pain or even a locking in your hip and they'll have to go in and sort of trim that up and make it all 
make it all nice again or repair it. So that's what the labrum is. Then you also have um, articular cartilage on the surface, on the surface of both the socket and the head of the femur. So, and it's just kind of like, it's almost a bit like synthetic ice. It's smooth, it's kind of glassy, um, and it helps the, the the two bones rub against each other almost frictionless. So it's not bone on bone. And when you get uh, like osteoarthritis and that kind of thing, that gets worn away and, and gets degenerated and that creates problems. And in, in a really bad osteoarthritic hip, that um, cartilage will be so worn down that they'll say you have bone on bone OA. And, and yeah, it just means your bones are rubbing on each other, uh, which is not, not ideal <laughs> so uh so that's what the cartilage is too and, and so again it can get damaged if there's an impingement ladies and gentlemen that is what you need to know about hip impingement i got nothing else if you like this video subscribe uh hit like hit the bell if you know other goalies share it with them because you guys don't realize this is going on and you don't feel anything. You can be developing this without feeling any symptoms until it gets to the stage where, okay, now it's really blocking my range of motion. Now I'm having symptoms, now it's a problem. So I'm not trying to scare you, but it is something pretty serious. On that note, <laughs> see ya.